The best gaming monitors are packed with features, but one aspect that often gets overlooked is the inclusion of DisplayPort VS. What are the differences between the two ports, and is using one for connecting to your system definitively better? You might think it's a simple matter of hooking up whatever cable comes with your monitor to your PC and calling it a day, but there are differences that can often mean a loss of refresh rate, color quality, or both if you're not careful. Here's what you need to know about DisplayPort VS. HDMI connect. If you're looking to buy a new PC monitor or buy a new graphics card, you can find recommendations on our best graphics cards page. You want to consider the capabilities of both sides of the connection the video output of your graphics card and the video input on your display before making any purchases. DisplayPort, the PC choice. Currently, DisplayPort 1.4 is the most capable and readily available version of the DisplayPort standard. The DisplayPort 2.0 spec came out in June 2019, but there still aren't any graphics cards or displays using the new version. We thought that would change with the launch of AMD Big Navi, Aka Navi 2X, Aka RDNA 2, and NVIDIA's Ampere GPU, but both stick with DisplayPort 1. DisplayPort 1.4 doesn't have as much bandwidth available as HDMI 2.1, but it's sufficient for up to 8K 60HD with DPC and HDMI 2.1 hardware isn't really available for PC yet. One advantage of DisplayPort, that variable refresh rates, VRR have been part of the standard since DisplayPort 1.2. We also like the robust DisplayPort, but not many DisplayPort connector, which has hooks that latch into place to keep cables secure. It's a small thing, but we've definitely pulled loose more than a few HDMI cables by accident. DisplayPort can also connect multiple screens to a single port via multi-stream transport, MSD, and the DisplayPort signal can be piped over a USB Type-C connector that also supports. One area where there has been some confusion is in regards to licensing and royalties. DisplayPort was supposed to be a less expensive standard. At least, that's how I recall it being proposed back in the day. But today, both HDMI and DisplayPort have various associated brands, trademarks, and patents that have to be licensed. With various associated technologies like HDCP, High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, DSE, and more. Companies have to pay a royalty for DP just like HDMI. The current rate appears to be 20 cents per product with a DisplayPort interface with a cap of $7 million per year. HDMI charges 15 cents per product, or 5 cents if the HDMI logo is used in promotional. DisplayPort 1.2 introduced HBR2, double the maximum data bit rate to 17.28 Gbps, and is compatible with standard HBR display. HBR3 with DisplayPort 1.31.4 increased things again to 25.92 Gbps and added the requirement of Deep 8K DisplayPort certified. Finally, with DisplayPort 2.0, there are three new transmission modes Uber 10, Ultra High Bit Rate, Uber 13.5, and Uber 20. The number refers to the bandwidth of each lane, and DisplayPort uses four lanes, so Uber 10 offers up to 40 Gbps of transmission rate. Uber 13.5 can do 54 Gbps and Uber 20 peaks at 80. All three UR standards are compatible with the same DPA-K certified cables, thankfully, and use 128-130 tube encoding, meaning data bit rates 38.69 Gbps, 52.22 Gbps, and 77.37 Gbps. HDMI Ubiquitous Consumer Electronic Updates to HDMI have kept the standard relevant for over 16 years. The earliest versions of HDMI have become outdated, but later versions have increased bandwidth and features. HDMI 2.0 and earlier are worse in some ways compared to DisplayPort 1.4. But if you're not trying to run at extremely high resolutions or refresh rates, you probably won't notice the difference. Full 24-bit RGB color at 4K 60HD has been available since HDMI 2.0 released in 2013, and higher resolutions and slash or refresh rates are possible with 4, 2, 0 YCBCR output though you generally don't want to use that with PC text, as it can make the edges look for AMD FreeSync users. HDMI has also supported VRR via an AMD extension since 2.0, but HDMI 2.1 is where VRR became part of the official. So far, only NVIDIA has support for HDMI 2.1 VRR on its Turing and upcoming Ampere GPU, which is used on LG 2000. That will likely change once AMD Big Navi GPU are released, and we expect full HDMI 2.1 support from NVIDIA's Ampere GPU as well. If you own a Turing or earlier generation NVIDIA GPU, outside of specific scenarios like the LG TV, 
you're generally better off using DisplayPort for the time being. What's more, TV and consumer electronics hardware has already started shipping HDMI 2.1 devices, even though no PC graphics card support the full 2.1 spec yet. DisplayPort vs. HDMI the We've covered the technical details of DisplayPort and HDMI, but which one is actually better for gaming? Some of that will depend on the hardware you already own or intend to purchase. Both standards are capable of delivering a good gaming experience, but if you want a great gaming experience, right now DisplayPort 1.4 is generally better than HDMI 2.0. HDMI 2.1 technically beats DP 1.4, and DisplayPort 2.0 should trump HDMI 2.1. The problem is, you'll need to buy a TV rather than a monitor to get HDMI 2.1 right now, and we're not sure when DP 2.0 hardware will start shipping, RTX 40 series maybe. For NVIDIA gamers, your best option right now is a DisplayPort 1.4 connection to a G-Sync display. If you buy a new GeForce RTX 30 series card, however, HDMI 2.1 might be better, and it will probably be required. Do you want to connect your PC? Again, the only G-Sync compatible displays out now with HDMI 2.1. Unless you're planning on gaming on the big screen in the living room, you're better off with DisplayPort right now. Ampere supports HDMI 2.1 but sticks with DP 1.4, and G-Sync PC monitors are likely to continue prioritizing AMD gamers may have a few more options, as there are inexpensive FreeSync monitors with HDMI available. However, DisplayPort is still the preferred standard for PC monitors. It's easier to find a display that can do 144 HD over DisplayPort with FreeSync, where a lot of HDMI FreeSync displays only work at lower resolutions or HDMI 2.1 meanwhile is only supported on the latest RX 6000 series GPU. But DisplayPort 2.0 support apparently won't be coming for at least one more generation of We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.